Hey, hey, hey. I can't, I need to stop saying that. There's a, Cosby kind of ruined that, unfortunately. Hey, there's hey. A, there's a <laughs> episode slash story uh -oh. in Legends. And it's, yeah, you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Right? I'm listening, sorry. It's, uh, it's based around Spartan 1337. Okay. Okay. 1337. Ah, uh, I like that. He's like that. a joke in the beginning, but then he actually... He actually does something like that. Okay. All right. Oh, see you guys first. If you don't mind. All right, nine. Oh, that's not great. What you got? Ah, uh, you got it. Okay, got it on ten. I'm a mole. All right. Simply because they're. High risk, high reward. So we're gonna keep. We're gonna hope this gets the ad. It's fine, Mark. I'm packing it in right now. <laughs> packing it in. This is packing it in. Shout out to Jerry T. I will make your video eventually, David, if I haven't already. There's a little bit of a backlog. I have another tribute, for, uh, another player whose tribute I would like to make first. I think I've told you the story before, but it's a player who, some personal circumstance. I may have told the channel already, so I don't mind saying. It's Jim Davis, who's going to be about Bernsey, and then Bernsey died. Mm -hmm. So, I, it's taking a different... Jesus. You know, oh, gee, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so if I didn't know what you're on, I know what you're on now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that'll do it. This is what he's played the, the last couple of times, not counting the tournament that we've played, right? Not counting the tournament, where you were on uh, Bug Leovold, Leovold Lansdale. Yeah, I have played a good bit of Leovold on your channel, and also a good deal of Dredge, so... That's right. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that your circumstances notwithstanding, you're pretty good at the Leovold deck. Uh, yeah, playing against Oath that time, though, that was... I, I saw you versus Jess. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was Jesus. Yeah, if it were just Oath, you'd be in okay shape because you have like five land creatures and six land creatures, I think. It's, I think it's four Creeping Tar Pit and two Hissing Quagmires. Uh, but, but Paradoxical Storm and Jess is, I'm gonna, I have you dead, but I'm gonna go for Storm 55. <laughs> because that's Jess for you. What's the, everybody loves Jess? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave it. That, that's fine. What is it? What's it gonna be? It's gonna be. If it has a bazaar, it'll get there. <laughs> Given what's in my hand, if it has a bazaar, it'll get there. <laughs> All right, serum. Okay, and I'm just gonna in inspect while we're there. All right. Well, could be worse. That would be a great hand. Man. Go into three? Oh, another serum. Okay. That's fine. I guess. Okay, I'll keep this. Okay. Okay, we got there, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Do you scry if you mull through? Yes. So, okay. Yeah, we're we're right now on the Vancouver Mall. Uh, we understand that by the time that this video is up, it might be London Mall. But right now, anyway, it's Vancouver Mall. So, yeah, you're going to get to scry. Right. Actually, if you want to, we can do... Well, it doesn't matter. Well, we've already done it. We've already done it. So no London Mole for that. But yes, and given how long the backlog, how large the backlog is, we probably should have done this under London Mole. Right, In so which case, jeez. I have the play, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm a reveal transfer. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Bizarre is good. Mm-hmm. Troll You picked a complex deck to play, my friend. Great return, stink wave. Okay. And, and Lumas, Chancellor. Yep. Good. Well, hmm. I'm gonna pop the Chancellor with a good taxing probe. Put me down to 18. Yep. Fetch. Gonna get. Now, I will say there's one thing about this deck that should be noted. It's supposed to have two tropical islands. Mm -hmm. It instead has two too many fetch lands. Yeah, um, it doesn't matter for this matchup because I will never go for the trop, but just 
in case. Um, one of the flooded strands and one of the polluted deltas are supposed to be trops, and they're because of ancient grudge. Um, as you do. By the way, in the background, you were hearing um, Oklahoma versus UCLA in softball in the College World Series. Cool. I don't know if they can see this, but I'm going to do this just so I can know Good what idea. I'm... Good idea. All right, there you go. And I'm going to play Careful Study. Yep. I'm going to draw two cards and discard two Arclight Phoenixes. Here we go. That's it. It's a race. I think you win this race, though. All right. That's it. Pass turn. Untap. Yep. Before draw. Okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's wrong. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. We, uh, we want to get the dredge in if we... You do it before if you don't have a dredger. Oh, hey. Well, if nothing else, that'll congest the board a little bit. Although, Dread Return, Grizzle Brand, we are getting way too close for comfort, folks. Uh, then draw. Yep. And this is Pitch Dredge. So, no Sun Titans here. This is a slower but mo much more resilient version of Dredge. You're having Unmask and Mindbreak Trap in this one. Okay. Well. Bizarre. Wait a minute. Um, I'm sorry. Did you just use the bizarre here? Yeah. We need to oh, start yeah, three cards. Yeah. You're up. It's okay. It it happens. Come on. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna do it again. Yay! Dread six. Yep. Um, One, two. All of the dread returns. We have. Three dread returns accounted for. Possibly out of three. I think it is out of three. Alright. Dredge for Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Six. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it's yeah. buried, but it's fine. It happens. Right, this was right here, because yeah. in vintage order matters. That's right. Now your deck doesn't have any cards that care, but yes, in vintage there are some cards that care about order. Hey! Uh -huh. Alright, so price check. I see one bridge from below. Just the one. So if you wanted to right now, you actually could go off if you have a Cabal Therapy in the yard. Which you do. So you can Cabal Therapy. No, no, you couldn't because you need more mm. bridges. You, yeah, you need more bridges. Never mind. You're almost there. Next turn, you can dredge a Dakmore Salvage to get back Blood Gas. Yeah, and then I've also got Icarid. And Icarid. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this, folks. <laughs> I'll pass her. Uh oh. Uh oh. T1 Glistener wrecked. Well. Hmm. <clears throat> Ancestral Recall targeting me. Yep. That's a start. Black Lotus. Yep. Um. Unfortunately, this only gives me one color. We're gonna pop it for red. So there's red, 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 Manamorphose, spinning red and red, mm -hmm. <laughs> and making blue, blue. So we're gonna make blue, blue, so now we have blue, blue, red floating. I'm going to spend. Huh. Huh. How do I get out of this one, folks? I don't think I do. Think we're in trouble. Barney Rubble. <laughs> All right. That's a name I haven't heard in years. Yeah, it's a uh, Cockney for trouble. <laughs> Cockney slang, because you know, things I'm known for, Cockney slang, of course. All right, we're gonna do uh, the red on Faithless Looting. Draw two, discard two. Hello. That's not great. That's not great. So Windfall is really high risk, high reward against you, but right now I think it would kill me. I've already used my Black Lotus, um, so that's going. And then the other one is... Ooh, actually that seems okay. That seems alright. I think that's worth keeping. It's worth hanging on to. I don't think you are, though, bud. I don't think you are. 
All right, I have something really cute I would like to try, but for now, we're gonna ditch the preordain, and we're gonna spend uh, blue blue on time walk. Mm -hmm. Go to combat. This is a, uh, I have to do it. Not that I would say no. All right. Phoenix says, "Hi ya, cool, taking f six. All right, all that time and I didn't find a stinking. All right, on to my next turn. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Combat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Hmm. There's a there's a trick here, YouTube. There's a trick. Since I didn't find any more mana, uh, weirdly enough, I think I have to do this on my turn. Don't no, I don't. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm gonna pass the turn. What do you feel like doing on your upkeep? Go to a grave drop. Yep. Oh, we're gonna do, this is on upkeep, right? Mm -hmm. Gonna do a bazaar here. Okay. And this is, yeah, so still on upkeep, so he hasn't missed his Icarid trigger. Not yet. One, two. Now, he won't be able to use this one because its trigger isn't on the stack. Okay. That's just the first one. One, two, three, hey! Four, five, six. All right. All right, let me know when you're ready to move to draw. There's only one Icarid whose trigger you can use, and it's that one, because that's the one that was in the yard at the time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. The others, because it's a Sorry. beginning of upkeep, so the others weren't around to trigger it. Do you have, you have a thug right here if you want to, or you have no. a thug there too, no. actually, that works. You're doing this one dollar at a time, gotcha. Alright. Move to draw. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. Trudge too. I'll see what I do. Okay, end of draw step. Mm -hmm. Uh, so bef when you pass priority, yeah. and you're passing priority, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, that didn't do as much as I hoped it would. Oh, this is not great. This is not great. This is really not great. I think I have to do it now, though, unfortunately. Gonna bolt my own phoenix to exile your one bridge from below. Yeah. Oh, two bridges, two bridges. Okay, that's fine. Okay, because I wasn't paying enough attention to the last one. All right, so two bridges exiled, but I lost some power. So, uh, that's fun. All right, now... Oh, yeah, you're good. One for turn? Uh, all of the blood gas show up. All four of them. I'm glad they don't have haste, but jeez. Jeez. There you are. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Combat. Yep. Three. I think these two get to attack as well, right? Yeah, that's true. All right. Hey, we might as well, right? Get me a little closer. At this point, I don't think it matters, but one, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. All right, anything else for your turn? You've got a bazaar still. So if you wanna try to bazaar to find bridge to get some tokens. May want to do bizarre first. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then just dredge twelve. Wait, how many cards do you have left? Okay. Uh, never Seven. mind. Don't dredge twelve. That sounds like a bad idea. One. Oh, you are. Okay. Three. You are a brave man. Three. And then you've got to actually take this natural draw here. So yeah. I don't think you can win this on this turn, though, bro. Because mm -hmm. you've got to discard the others and you have no cards left in your deck. 
Yeah. So if that had been a Stinkweed Amp, if you had done Stinkweed instead of Golgari Grave Troll, mm -hmm. you'd have one card left. Um, where's Stinkweed? Oh, you, it doesn't matter. You're going to discard it anyway, but here. There we go. Well, All right. Uh, his Icarid is here, and then the others he couldn't get on this turn. Yeah, there's one here, one here, one here. They all came in this turn, <laughs> the end of the yard. So yeah, if you do How the Stinkweed, it is dead. Hmm? So they came this turn? Yep. So he only had one in the yard this turn, but he dredged three Icarids. So he has two Bazaars and his draw step dredge. And there you go. It's just unlucky, man. So when does Icar trigger? Upkeep. Triggers on upkeep. And it's beginning of upkeep. So I think that text is out of date, but well, it doesn't I mean, matter. I mean, if there's upkeep, you could activate the bazaars in response. He did, but the others came in afterwards. That's why he got this one, but he didn't get the others. All right, so at the end of your turn, you should have two bridges, right? Oh, no, no, oh, wait, one got exiled from Serum Powder. Mm -hmm. So when this one gets sacked, you'll get two Zambonis. Although, if you have anything else you want to do this turn, any therapies, dread returns, you want to go for it. Well, no, this one's already getting sacked, so... All right. I should go ahead and do that. There you go. Dread return. I'm assuming either Elishnorn or Grizzlebrand. Either one wins you the game here, I think. Does it, actually? Yeah, it does. Anyone w wins you the game here. It would be cute, but if I could Ancestral Recall targeting you somehow, that would be <laughs> that would be wonderful. That's not going to happen, though. Um, and then three Zambonis, they're, they're here, folks. Yeah. Ta-da! All right, cool. All right, let's see what we got. That's not it. <laughs> That's not it, folks. Uh, oh, you... Oh, Jay, you idiot. You know what? I had that in my hand the whole stinking time. I just forgot to do it. It's okay. We're playing... This is casual REL, folks. This is casual REL when you get to talking. All right. Casual. Casual. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, casual REL. Although, I need to open the next one. So, if I had countered the Grizzle Brand, you still have the three tokens here. Um... So you still have 14, 15 power on the board. I'm at 13, so I'm actually still dead unless I can find something else. Um, because, so there's, there's force here, there's ponder. Oh, you know what? You're probably supposed to pitch the Jace, Jay, because you're not going to win the game this turn. Whatever, who cares? It doesn't matter anyway. It matters exactly none, but because I'm going to lose this game no matter what. But I already drew. We're going to try to ponder. We're going to see what we get. I've already lost, but whatever. Wait. What the heck? What the heck is this? So? Um. Pass turn? Untap oh, upkeep. Yep, draw. Draw your last card. Oh, wait. Do you want to do your Icarids? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Icarids first. That makes sense. You actually still have me if you play this correctly, um, which you will. <laughs> you will. You just need to reanimate Elishnor and you win the game. The cute yeah. thing is I had a lightning bolt, and I thought if I could block, and if I could bolt one of your creatures, I'd be able to live. Mm -hmm. But nope, you have Icarids and all that, all that shtick. Alright, so that was cute. Let's play. Let's play the next one. Woo! Oh my goodness, that was one game, folks. That was one game. Did either of the two of you play Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2 back in the day? Whoa. Dreamcast? Dreamcast or GameCube or PS3 or Xbox? Or I do remember or playing one from the Dreamcast. I'm you played sure the Dreamcast? You played Dreamcast? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're older than you look. Take it as a good thing, though. Alright. Hello. Yeah. My, I didn't own a Dreamcast, unfortunately. My, uh, my folks were big into Nintendo because... Oh, yeah, I would like to be on the flight. Because they uh, they saw it as a more family friendly company, so you can't have fighting games or anything. No Mortal Kombat. Oh, no. no. Damn. Yeah. Just play them. I will keep. I'll we'll make it work. Ah, uh, okay. You know how this goes. Yeah, sure do. If at first you don't succeed, get another one open. Yeah. Vintage Mulligan rolls gonna be freaking crazy. 
Yeah, you're not kidding, man. I, uh... Stretch, 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 stretch. That's what I'm going with. Dredge seems good. Now, to be fair, Dredge may not be quite as advantage because other decks will also be better able to find their sideboard cards. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind, like, furiously, aggressively digging for them. I think that still favors Dredge, though, because Hollow One and Gurmog Angler do not care, usually. Yeah. Um, unless your sideboard card happens to be City in a Bottle or something like yeah. that. To be fair, I'm a big fan of City in a Bottle. It's my new favorite Dredge hate card. None in this deck, though. Yeah. In this deck, it unfortunately can't run it. It doesn't have enough fast mana. Lots of cantrips. Not enough fast mana. Uh, my Infect deck, however, does in the sideboard. It has, you know, Black Lotus, the Moxen, one of each. Uh, so it, I think, can get away with it. It's in this nice little sweet spot between uh, getting hurt too much by Karn and Nullrod and having enough fast mana to do plays like that. Ooh, okay, well, fair enough. All right, folks. How is your day? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this? Good times. Good times, folks. Oh, poor card. We'll we'll switch it out. You know what? That's fine. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is. Three. I have to get a sleeve for it when I get home, I guess. Well, that's fine. What was that? If you don't mind asking. Oh, it's a Stinkweed Dam. Okay, um... You know what? I shouldn't... Well, it's fine. Real quick. Get in. Folks, this is how I do my, uh... This is how I do my sleeves. That's also a card that I've never put in from the sideboard. It's Laboratory Maniac. It has a reason, but I've never come across the, uh... The matchups where you want to do that. Okay, we're good now. You bring it in when you want to go Grizzlebrand, dredge through the whole deck, Laboratory Maniac, kill them on the spot. It does technically make the game go by more quickly. I don't know if I'd necessarily play it against a uh, blue deck. Mm. No, no, it's I'd, just... Yeah. If you lose the dread return counter war, yeah. which to be fair you are pitch dredge, but nevertheless if you lose the dredge counter war... Actually, no, you're not. I didn't see any mind break traps. You're just regular dredge. Yeah. yeah. Pitch dredge. I, so, pitch dredge also runs mind break trap. It's pitching a lot of cards for free. Gotcha. But I didn't remember that that dread that dredge deck has force of will, mental misstep, unmask, and doesn't have mind break trap. Like that is a fairly slow. Uh, dredge deck, but it's also fairly resilient too. For that very reason, you get mm -hmm. to play stuff like that. Let me make sure I didn't. No, no, that's fine. Okay, we're good. I still have seven cards, so I didn't <laughs> give you accidentally one. Give myself one of your cards. Oh no, there's another one with a bent sleeve. Ultra pros, folks. To be fair, I needed like a thousand card sleeves, so I can't get too pricey with them. All right. I will have some card sleeves to, uh, to switch out. And Dredge of all decks does shuffle quite a lot, as we're seeing. As we're seeing, folks. Um, before you get to even start the game, it's yeah. 15, mil 15 minutes of mulligan. Yeah. Top five reasons that Vintage can never be a competitive format on camera. <laughs> cost, 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 cost. How long it takes for Dredge to resolve its mulligans. If we're gonna be an eSport, I love this game, but and this is one of those quirky little, you know, benefits to having it. I guess this game is crazy. Ah, <sighs> I mean, I pretty much have to keep this one. Is it one card? Mm. All right, that's right. We're already down to one. I'll keep. Okay. Got there. Um, we're gonna go. Wait. No, I didn't win. Oh, no, I see, I see. This is a pre-game Chancellor. Yeah. Okay. Well, that actually kind of sucks, folks. That actually sucks. <laughs> oh, man. If there's going to be any turn one play, that's that's pretty good. Pretty good, folks. Past turn. You got me. 
Chancellor got me. Go ahead. If you're going to have a turn one and it's... Oh, okay, we got there somehow. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to pay the extra one for Chancellor. We're going to go Fatal City. Yep. Draw two. Discard Arclight Phoenix and... Blood is drained. Why the heck not? All right, cool. Pastor. Play of Azor. Hey, you have a playable hand. Control two. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Good. All right. You got there, boss. You got there. Young Pyreezy. Yup. Pastor. Draw. Yep. Four, five, six. Second draw. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Sorry. You gotta actually do the bizarre. This is yeah. you're gonna do the yeah. bizarre on draw? Yep. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Just making sure. One, two, Three, four, well, oh, I guess we have to wait. Six, wait, 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 we have to finish resolving. So do you have a, you're going to do the other one first? Because remember these trigger, but the trigger doesn't go on the stack until it finishes resolving. We usually shortcut it, but sometimes it matters. Two, three, four, five, six, and now we discard three cards, presumably named Golgari Grave Troll, and now the triggers go on the stack, and now, 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 I'm gonna say Ravenous Trap. Okay. Yeah. So exile the whole graveyard. Get a token. Get a Tokido. Shoutouts to Tokido. Well, the good news is, since you still have a Bazaar, you can build back from it. The bad news is, I just drew that. Alright. Manamorphose, red blue. There's a trigger, by the way. It's about to be two. Manamorphose, red blue. Manamorphose, red blue. Okay. Okay, folks. Um spin the blue. Careful study. One, two. It says something about the hand when you discard mother fucking black lotus. <laughs> blue, red still floating. Well, actually, actually, first we're going to get taxing probe. Pay the two. So there's a... Oh, hi. So draw. Okay. Now we're going to spin the blue, red still floating. Careful study. One, two... I'm never going to find an Arclight Phoenix for the rest of my life. That's how this game is going to go. Force of Will Mox Ruby. Mm -hmm. Let's throw all of our power away. <laughs> Um, go to combat, get back the one. Whee! Six. Yep, you got it. And then, pass turn. Untap. Alright. Okay. I'm going to keep them on different levels to show tapped, untapped. It doesn't matter, but you know. Alright. And then discard all three. Yay! All right, there's a thug. Um, mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, can I? Let me let me see how this is worded. Grab this trap. Yeah, I can actually, because they were put into your graveyard. Grabbing this trap. So take a natural draw. Go ahead. All right. And then just two, five, seven. So I'm going to put you to two here in just a bit. Unless. Looting? 
Mm-hmm. There's one. It's a bicycle one. Um, draw two. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, this is going in the yard no matter what, obviously. If I do Faithless Looting... I can't do Faithless Looting here. There's another Faithless Looting in my hand. If I do that, I'll only get to two. I have to ponder and hope I get there. Ponder. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Surgical targeting something in my yard so that I can get back the other Arc Light Phoenix and swing this turn for lethal. Yep. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got a double ravenous trap is evil. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Let's get ready to run. Alright, something like that. Alright. Pop. Hmm. We'll pretend this is okay and go with it. Okay. And so it begins. Alright. You know what? I should probably... Oh, sorry. Do what I did with one of uh, Dordle's games. He was playing Dredge, and every time he got to... Like, he had to... The second time he dredged, I just skipped a... I skipped it with a we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Then every time thereafter, it just got overlooked. All right, here goes nothing. Four, five, six. Glad you folks know what I mean. I'll keep. Uh oh. Keep on talking. Okay. That's not looking good for me then. Hey, he's out there. Yeah. All right. Activate, drop Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, because that's one of the ones you just drew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Thug, Chancellor, Dread Return. Good. Good times, folks. Good times. Pass turn. Into it. All okay. right. Draw. Draw. All right, you're coming four. One. Oh, jeez. Two. Three. Four. All right. Second draw. Oh, well. You've already drawn. You've got to do oh, the yeah. bizarre. Yeah. yeah, it's all right. It happens. It it feels like because you do it so often as the dredge player, it mm -hmm. feels like you're already doing it for bizarre. But we're getting there. All right. Was it was the first one the deck more or was it the mana confluence? Oh no, you're right. You're right. Because wait a minute. So you did the four off of thug, and that gave you Icarid, Icarid, mana confluence, stink with them, <laughs> and here are the five. Okay, so you're good. So. uh... Do we have any more dredgers? We have a deck more salvage. That's a thing. We'll get us a little deeper. Two. Just two? One. Two. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna like next turn. <laughs> that may be slightly different. Oh crap, that's my sideboard. These are the cards I cited out. I definitely don't want these cards to be by hand. Where did my hand... Ah, there we are. Cool. Um, upkeep fetch. Just a thin. Go to 19. Walk. Mm -hmm. I got it. Alright. Telling myself to wake up and then it turns into a... Yeah. All right, draw. Well, okay, that's a thing, I guess. Uh, hmm. How about we just go island? 
just start off by taking an extra turn. It's not great, but I'll do it. Alright, so cool. That's really not great, but we're going to draw. Okay, that's a, that's a thing. That's a thing, I guess. Red, blue. I said red, blue. Hmm, I may have messed up a bit. No, it's fine, it's fine. Fetch? Mm hmm. I, I knew I had a reason for doing that, I just forgot what the reason was in the process. <laughs> Funny how that works, I guess. Alright. Pop. Alright. Spin the blue, red floating, careful study. Mm -hmm. One, two, I've got some really easy ones to go in. It's Arc Light Phoenix, yay! Well, red floating. Guess I'll spend it and blue on Jace Wren's Prodigy. Mm -hmm. Go to combat. Yep. Hit you for six. I've seen this before. Welcome to modern. <laughs> this is this is a modern deck, folks. Ignore the volcanic islands. They don't they don't matter. Um, pass turn. On top upkeep. All right. Uh, yeah, you're, you're. So this is upkeep triggers on the stack, right? Yeah. Okay. Just one for now. Move to draw. Oh, uh, draw or dredge? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying to <laughs> help. Helping your opponents is fun. Four, five. Six. Well, wait. No, that's that's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that was six. But oh wait, this is your draw. Activate. Are we wait? Are we doing this with the the Narc Amoeba trigger on the yeah, stack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. So before we let that trigger resolve, I'm gonna ravenous trap. All right. So now you can activate Bizarre. This is before. So this would still be in the yard. Yeah. Right. So, well, this would be in the yard. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you gotta activate. It's still in the yard, you're having a strap, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I was with the narc. I wanted to make sure I got the narc amoeba with it. Okay, and so he ordered that correctly, doing the Icarid first, so I couldn't get rid of the Icarid. Alright. One, one, two. One, two. <laughs> I will discard. Yeah, one of the joys of playing Dredge is sometimes you have to. Oh, God. Sometimes you have to hold yeah. stuff in your hand for that reason. Uh, land for turn? Yep. Uh, combat? Yep. Three. I Might think well, I have I mean. to take it. Um, yeah, we're gonna take it. One, two, three. Alright, move to instep. Yeah, you get a Zamboni. Here's your Zamboni. <laughs> Good. Alright, uh-huh. Let's see. How... I can, I can get you pretty close, but I don't have you there just yet, unfortunately. Not yet. Not yet. We're going to actually pay the two life to take a look at your hand. Draw a card. Uh, Man Conflux, Cabal Therapy, and uh, Golgari Sub. Oh, hi. Yeah, no, I don't want to give you another turn. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh, yeah. Even without the dread return, you're about to dread six. So uh, let's not say we didn't. I've already drawn. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, careful study? Yep. One, two. That's not great. I'm going to say Echoing Truth Mountain. Yep. Jace. Discard the card I just drew. Transform. Transform. Flashback, time walk. Take an extra turn. Yup. You're not dead yet. That's in the yard. Hits you for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. On my next turn. Let's draw a bolt. If only. Plus to plus. So yep. he's at three, but whatever. Um, either draw a bolt or 
Let me see if we can get there. Careful study? Yep. <laughs> One, two. There's a phoenix, so now I just need to get three spells. Uh, I have Ponder and Faithless Looting, so I'm going to get three spells. So, yeah. yeah. Ponder first, you know, make sure that whatever I... Yeah, that's fine. It's Bolt Island Surgical, and then send these two to the yard. Yeah, <laughs> just in case. So I didn't even need the other phoenix. Just Okay, so that is not usually how this deck works, but that's how it worked this time. I did change up sideboards between games two and three. Um, a lot of decks can bring in Graft Digger's Cage to mess me up, but Dredge cannot. It's not one of those decks that can, but it's usually faster, so just having Ravenous Trap is... Is Ravenous Trap or Bust, folks? That's it. I have some cards in here that are cute. I have Surgical, for instance. There's Ravenous Trap. There's e Engineered Explosives, because it's better than another Force of World. Uh, this deals with tokens, fun fact. Deals with tokens. Alright. I actually also brought in, weirdly enough, Echoing Truth. So Surgical was in game two, or Engineer Explosives was in game two, Echoing Truth came in game three. Uh, I thought it was better than another force as well. So Echoing, Ravenous Trap, and then Surgical's in here somewhere. I think I found you, there you are, I found you at the end. There we are. Now, cards it took out. Originally, it was three mental missteps. Um, apparently the deck only has three. Uh, Ancient Grudge, Windfall, Wheel of Fortune, because nothing feels better than give, giving your Dredge opponent 40 <laughs> cards in the yard. <laughs> nothing feels better than that. And then I also took out a Force of Will. Uh, come the next game. Ta-da! Woo! That's it.